other algorithm other than the onion skin algorithm or hair holders algorithm that, that, that helps you find a path or a circuit in any graph. And this is called Flory's algorithm. And what it really utilizes is the idea of connectedness, which is to say that, that one of the things that Euler talks about is that, okay, in order to actually draw a path or a circuit, your graph has to always be connected. And this is something that seems almost trivial, which is to say that, oh, well, of course, in order to actually draw a graph, it can't be broken apart. But what, what Floyd realized is that this allows us to, to efficiently draw a path or a circuit. And, and what he says is that, let's say you want to find um, the circuit in this graph where where every vertice has an even degree. So again, this is a this is a plane graph. So that means that you know every intersection of edges is a vertice. So we can assume we always have a vertice. And but but going back, Flory says, okay, so you know that this is an even degree um, graph. So you know it does have a circuit. How do we find it? Well, start by wandering a little bit. And I'm going to wander over here. And this is where a key decision comes into play. Um, could we go either way here? Could we go left or right? And the idea is, when you're using this algorithm, well, you want to go the way that still keeps the graph connected. That's it. You want to always keep the graph connected. Every step you take, this algorithm is, is used by, by focusing on the fact that when you draw an edge, you still have a graph that's left over that's connected. So if I draw an edge to the left, does that work? Look at the white graph that's still there, right? All these white edges. Well, if you just picture them and you ignore this purple part, what you see is a connected graph. So at that point, if I went to the left, I'd be okay. But what about if I went to the right? Now look at the white graph. What do you see? Well, now the, the white graph is not connected. You see how this, these white edges in this shape down here have no way to connect to this shape right here? That means that you can't draw an edge this way, and that's how the algorithm works. You can't draw an edge somewhere that breaks up the remaining graph or breaks it in a way that it can't be connected. So every time you draw an edge, if you want to find the circuit, keep drawing it so you don't break the graph up into a disconnected graph. Here, notice I'm drawing and the remaining graph is still connected. Now, if I go this way, right, okay, everything's all right still, but if I go this way, notice, well, now this triangle is disconnected from the rest of the graph. So this algorithm says, oh, well then go back. You can't go that way. When you get to this vertice, you have to go this way. Right, because you want to make sure that the remaining graph is connected. And I can keep going here, and now this remaining piece. And notice, it's very hard to break this graph now into a disconnected graph, but I'll try anyway. If I go this way, and then this way, is the graph still connected, or is it disconnected? Well, it's actually still connected on this vertice, so it's okay. And if I go this way, is the graph still connected? The answer is yes. Come back around, trying to disconnect it, not running into any issues. And, and eventually you see I'm finding a, an Eulerian circuit. So that's the basic idea of the algorithm. It's just as simple as that. Every time you draw an edge, now I wandered in the beginning and drew a couple of edges and then evaluated it because I knew the point where uh, it really mattered if I turned left or right. But really, the way this algorithm works, just draw an edge, and you keep drawing. And as long as you don't break the graph into disconnected pieces, you will end up drawing an Eulerian circuit. And that's it. You just keep repeating and testing. Go the way, draw in the way, so you don't break the graph apart. And that's why I love this algorithm, because you just draw along and keep evaluating. Does it work? So we'll try a couple of, of, of examples in, in in upcoming videos to, to give you some practice. All right, thanks.